Hello and welcome back to Thinking in English. This is the second mini or short episode I have written. Check out the previous episode on riddles if you haven't already. Actually, while you're doing that, why not also check out the Thinking in English blog and Instagram page? Both of the links are in the description. Today, I want to challenge you to a tongue twister competition. A tongue twister is a phrase that is purposefully difficult to say. They are often used as a game, but tongue twisters can be excellent ways to also improve your pronunciation and fluency. I use them all of the time with my students. And therefore, I want to introduce three excellent tongue twisters which will help you to practice a few of the more difficult parts of English pronunciation. I'm going to read three tongue twisters. I'll read them slowly, and then again I'll read them a little faster. You'll be able to find the written tongue twisters in the description and also on our blog. It's useful to read them rather than just listen to me. However, to practice most effectively, you need to be able to repeat the phrases multiple times and at a fast pace. I think it would also be interesting if you record yourself speaking and then send me a clip to listen to. Actually, if you look at the bottom of the podcast episode description, and I've checked this on Spotify and also on iTunes, and I, th I guess all other podcast platforms as well, there is a little link, and you have the option to send me a voice message. If you would like, click on that link, record yourself, and then send it to me, and maybe I will make a comment on it. Tongue Twister 1 Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. This is an excellent tongue twister to practice your R and L pronunciations. Many languages don't have a distinction between R and L, and it can be really difficult to hear and speak the difference. So, practicing red lorry, yellow lorry, trying to go as fast as you can, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, is a really useful tongue twister. Tongue twister number two. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. This is one of the most famous tongue twisters in the English language. And if you've practiced English tongue twisters before, maybe in a class or at school, this is probably the one you practiced. It focuses on the difference between s sounds and sh sounds. She sells seashells on the seashore. There's actually a longer version of this tongue twister as well, but I thought for today would keep it short. She sells seashells on the seashore. Why don't you give it a go? Tongue twister number three. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? This is one of my favourite tongue twisters. I think it's really fun and uh, interesting to say. It practices the W sounds, the difference between wi, wa, but also it highlights that many English words have the same sounds. Two completely different words, for example, watch and watch, they sound the same, 
but they are different. Watch can be a wristwatch, a mini clock on your wrist, and it's also the verb to watch, to look at something. And which and which as well. So, why don't you practice this tongue twister as well? If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? Have a go. Each of these tongue twisters targets a different group of challenging sounds. Sounds that English students often struggle to master. Keep practicing and you'll soon be an expert. Record yourself and send me a clip. Uh, visit my Instagram and blog. And if you listen on Apple Podcasts, please, please leave me a rating and a review. Five star reviews really, really help. And if you write something nice, I might read it out in a future episode. Regular episodes will be back soon. But until then, thank you for listening. And I hope you are having a great day.